Hey there, everyone. This is Cow playing Fragile Dreams. Farewell return to the moon. I don't know if we're returning to the moon, but uh, we are farewelling it. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know. Rather tell sidewalk. Yeah, so we are somewhere in the dam pursuing a certain silver-haired girl. We're here. Last time, we caught up on the story of the bells. Uh, that That's about it. We actually didn't do all that much yesterday, I feel like. Because a lot of it was just... Reading takes a while. And I mean, like, reading... Like, me reading on my own does not take a while. But if you take into consideration that that one has a little tag on it, I wonder if that means that one's explosive. I don't know. Oh my god, that ambush! Uh, but you know, like, once you take the, re the written word and actually let it flow at the rhythm of actual people having a conversation or telling a story, it ends up taking a lot more time. And that's fine, like, that's just, this is the reality of it. My point is, I don't know. I don't really have a point. I was just making a, a summary of last time. And now we're now. Unbelievable. What does the map have to say? Yeah, we're somewhere. <laughs> I guess we're in tunnels? No, we were here. I don't know what Dadoodle is. Alright. So, there's at least Dad big enough of a space. Maybe all of it's gonna be a doodle, though, of a mean ghost. Well, got a cutscene, actually, here. Hey, Sai, you changed spaces. You're on the other side of me now. Oh, well, we're locked in. Uh, okay. <laughs> security's been activated. That's, that's fun. Locked tight. Well, only one way to go. Forward. Technically, you can just right. leave. You're so you're, you're pretty nice, you know, to kind of stick around with me in spite of that. I appreciate it. All right, so now we might have actually a hit a point of no return. It's possible. I don't know how we return from there, and I can even save locking me in this point of no return. See, look at that. See, this is why I have the green light. Because these keep appearing still. It has an exclamation mark and everything. Don't give up. There's a way. Ishihara. Uh, oh, we're going to be crawling. And there's another fireplace on the other side? Like, why would you have two fireplaces so close? I don't know if we can crawl no in there. Hmm. Looks like a dead end. Guess he means business. I thought there's a place that looked like a crawl space. <laughs> A dead end? Like you. That's probably mean. I don't know if it would be. She seems to be in pretty words, accepting of we're trapped in here. Of her post-life state. Alright then. Everyone dies. I guess Eventually. this is the end. Huh? What's the matter? You're a guy, aren't you? It's too early to throw in the towel. Mm. Not sure what that has to do with anything, but sure. <laughs> oh, I know. Uh, what is it? Would you... Um... Yeah, well, I would. would you like to hear my story? Anticipating uh, your text here a little bit. Sure. I absolutely would. A long time ago. Long ago. There was a brilliant scientist who discovered, well, the secret of interaction. Of interaction. That is how humans connect emotionally. The hidden ability to communicate without words. Does that need to be discovered? Way in the past, <laughs> people could have connected with each other using that power. You mean empathy? So a bunch of really smart scientists got together to study the idea. They thought if they could reawaken this power in everybody, we wouldn't have to use words to understand one another. They concluded that it'd make the world a better place. There were wars at that time. People argued and fought over little things and big things alike. Everything was a point of contention. And people grew tired of it. The whole world was unanimous in supporting the project. The whole world decided wars are bad. Using a machine they called Glass Cage, humans sent hmm. a signal around the world. 
to try and trigger the latent empathy faculty in people's heads. Okay, so a bit more than just this empathy. This would enable everyone to naturally harmonize with one another. But like, like psychic empathy. Okay, that's the nuance you're talking After about. That, what happened? Well, everybody was excited. Now that they could convey exactly what was in their hearts, all sorts of misunderstandings and ill will would vanish overnight. That's what they thought. Then everyone, the entire world was bubbling. Everyone found out everyone's a huge a-hole. <laughs> oh no. And believed and smiled themselves to sleep. But then Oh. The next morning no one woke up. Okay. Something didn't they work. Slept and stayed like that forever. Wait, they did the process on the entire world, not That's did, how they all died. did they not do a local test first? This is this is a story of scientific uh what's the word I'm looking for here? I don't know. But well, you know what I'm talking about. Again. Yeah. That girl she's gonna be the catalyst for it. Catalyst? Her heart will make the connection. And connect with everybody else on Earth. If it succeeds. What if it doesn't work? I told you. It'll be worse this time. Not a single soul will escape. It's interesting that it did not work on everyone. So, assuming that whatever they were trying to do worked, <laughs> some people would not guess what? have super empathy. The first time around, I was the catalyst. Ah, okay. Sigh. I don't get it. How did... How did you end up as the catalyst? Don't look at me. I have no idea. I lived a typical, ordinary life. And then one day, they forced me to take all these tests. Before I knew what was going on, they decided to use me. They plugged all these cords into my head, made me take strange medicines. It was all very weird. They sure put the worst I'm people you, in the world days, in charge of global empathy. Pain. It happened every day. <laughs> like, what the hell? More experiments. They didn't care at all how I felt. But there was this guy. Maybe that's why they wanted to Sometimes he'd slip force me empathy on everyone. Because they just he did not have any at all. I was doing okay. And also, he thanked me nicely. One guy out of the whole group. I see. So you and that guy, well, you were like friends. <laughs> you crack me up. I mean, I wouldn't exactly call Shin and I friends. Cat. If I had to label us, we were... That cat managed to sneak Wait it away here. Yeah. How'd that cat get in here? The door's still locked shut. I can't just go through and walls, it's fine. The exit blocked with rubble. Quick, after him! He might lead us to a way out! Just turn the corner. Communication, oh, you're right, because, uh... Okay, there you go. We fixed it, don't worry, follow the cat's cry! Yeah, we just spent too much time, uh, talking. Yeah, I mean, it was very clearly here. I wonder if this entryway would have existed. No, I think the cutscene happened before we could go here. I found it. The cat's it's meowing <laughs> on the other side. They're making this to be this huge discovery. Down, it's a it's a massive hole here. Here goes nothing. Like you you crawl under smaller setup. What's going on? All right. Well, here we go. Woo! Puzzle solved. Thanks to Cat. I mean, I'm not gonna discredit Cat for, you know, their help with this, but I feel like I feel like there was an unnecessary uh, step this here. Is so soothing. They never even look the whole length of the wall. It's just, nah. All right, instant depression. It's easier that way. Oh, jeez, buddy. Guys, we are beyond something. Beyond waffles. Beyond the rubble. Close. Waffle, rubbles. Basically the same sorting area in my brain. And yeah, so for some reason, they put the hugest, most massive psychopath in charge of global empathy. Yeah, makes sense. That tracks. 
I don't know which of these is more interesting, but that one has a... Has writing here. And I'm like, okay. A journey begins with one step. And then the next. That looks like an important door, but this looks like a dead end. So. Oh, hey! It's Crow! He's back! Oh, jeez. Yeah, no, yeah. You need to... Ah, okay, you're down. You're sliding nowhere. You have to back up. The trick is to back up. Wait until you... Whoa! You do a backflip? There we go. And when you strut walk... Then your defense are off, and I can just do that, and it's easy, I say, after losing, like, half my health. Get money. There is seemingly... Ah, there we go. There is something here. Probably another book. Can we get down this grail? Anyone want to have a grail time? Well, it's not an option, so... So we're not. Alright, I guess I'll sit back by the fire to heal. Read a little bit. Get read at a little bit. And we'll see what happens beyond there. This is the game we're in. Yeah, accurate. Alright, here we go. <sighs> so comfy. You're used to sitting on the floor by this wow. point. Wow! Wow! It's a light stone. Wow, that is expensive as hell. Yeah, the chicken man just does not appear anymore. Baby sock. That is not a book. That's a sock. Though you're still so small, you'll soon be born. So this message is for you. There may come a day when you'll curse being born into this world. Jeez. You'll wonder what you did to deserve this. And you'll probably have plenty of bitter words to tell me. But... But I don't think I'll be around by then to listen to your complaints. I want you to know how truly sorry I am. I just want you to believe this. No matter what happens, all we wanted was for you to be happy. So on one end, this could be the continuation of the weird, like, uh, we're gonna get married even though the world's gonna get terrible story. And then, like, they actually, you know, they're making it through and they're having a child in this terrible world. It's not impossible. Or this could also be completely, completely independent. Like, I don't really know. Oh, you are back! Do you have weird juice for me? To see you. Will you be buying or selling today? Uh, I would love to know that myself. That, is that weird juice? That just looks like... Oxygen cylinder? The hell is that? Nothing like oxygen to put the fight back to war ravaged body. No! Okay, like, good. That is a ridiculous amount of health, but that is not what I'm interested in. Do you have a katana? You have a stick? How are you selling sticks? Ah, uh, man. Chicken friend. Well, this is goodbye. Bring me suspicious liquids, please. <laughs> I can afford it. Beyond the rubble. Beyond Mississauga. Here we go. Going in a straight line. After confusing a sock. That's a cat. After confusing a sock for a book. Which, you know, will happen. So we're still following cats. I thought that was... No, that is a thing, isn't it? It's just like a brick, I guess. It's not meant to be a treasure. There's just boxes behind all the pipes. But none of them have fireflies. Okay, alright, sure. Meow. Meow indeed. It's the same cat from before. It's just looking at us. I've seen cats do that. They sit, they wait for you, they meow. And when they know that you saw them, they'll just, like, scamper off to, you know, wherever. So I can use the Meow Decoder to figure out where progress is? Not really. Alright, well, here's a room. We're gonna go in that room. We're gonna take stock. Oh, hey, you're back. You never left. Get out of here. Wow. 
Uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I didn't hit you with a full combo, so you... So you survived. <laughs> yeah, I know. I need for you to be casual. And then we can have a fight. There you go. Casual fight. There we go. I leveled up, level 27. Give me this mystery item. I got it. I'm not gonna retreat to the fireplace now at this point. I don't think that would make a lot of sense. Meow, yeah, indeed. That is a such a sad meow, though. Like, that is a very hungry cat sound. Alright, we get another cutscene here. Now it's just washing itself. There he is. Patiently waiting How for did us. Get here in the first place. <gasps> Wait. I mean, probably the the other end. Sigh. Do you not like? <laughs> I don't think that's a huge mystery or anything. Sigh. You're making this to be a lot more than it really is. All right, fireplace is over there, so we're going everywhere else. In this crossroad, uh, turning 90 degrees corners. Hey, the crow crew is back. Get out of here. All right, that's mean. All right. Yeah, go oh man, I messed up. Oh man, I messed up again. I keep messing up. The timing, I've said it before, does not feel natural to me. All right, after you do a flip, typically... Oh, what? It didn't. Normally after a flip, you get casual. It's it's part of your routine. Okay, I'm doing this kind of badly, I feel like. All right. I'm just gonna have to be patient a little bit more. There you go, you're down. All right, you just saw that happen. You gonna do anything about it? Whoa, yeah, you can't do a backflip right next to a wall. That'll make you like all guy like go all weird against the wall. You fool. Uh, get a feeling that next fireplace, like, there's gonna be some mysterious items happening. And I think that's gonna take enough time that it's gonna be the end. But uh, that's okay, though. That's fine. That is the game asserting its own... Uh, What's the word I'm looking for here? Pace? I'm down with it. I respect that. Anything here? I'm not seeing any mysterious items here, though. Like, yeah, I know. Very sad sounds of crying. Truly, I am impressed. Whoop. Oh, my weapon broke. God. Ah, oh, this game. Alright, well, new golf club. Oh, shoot. I... Did he have golf clubs to sell, the rooster man? I might have completely had forgotten about that. Okay. Well, there's nothing here, too. I guess we all, we we picked up all the mystery items, and this was in case we missed one? I don't know. I do not have an answer to give you about such concepts. Meow! Little kitty, you're over there, probably. All right, this chicken man's gonna come back. It's soothing watching the flames. It is. Hmm. I hmm. see. Understanding has been reached. A ledger. To-do list. One, eat a whole cake by myself. That's a good one. Two, share a meal with my family. I appreciate your... Three. Visit priorities. All the friends I can. Okay. Four. Read all the books I've wanted to. Sounds great. Five. Buy the clothes I always dreamed of. Why not? Six. Make up with that certain somebody. That's the last one, huh? Kinda kinda front loading with the okay. Chris. Yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna be the end of today. The silver bell wasn't a particularly outstanding decoration. But it did ring the most beautifully. I'd always wondered what kind of home such a lovely bell had come from. It belonged to an old woman who lived alone without relatives. In a large mansion I'd never seen yeah, before. See, notice how a lot of the illustrations have very odd angles. A lot of them are from really close to the floor. This one is up high, but then notice how... 
there's tree leaves around, like if the looker was casually sitting in a tree. Madam, it's time for supper. Thank you, dear. Madam, the lilies in the garden have bloomed. I've put them in this vase. Making sure they won't bloom no more. What a lovely scent. Madam, it started raining. Allow me to close the windows. Yes. And draw the curtains, too. The old woman was waited on hand and foot by her servants. She'd rely on their help as she sat idly in her chair, listening to her favorite music. She'd even ask them to change out the records. But most of the servants seemed to genuinely adore their employer. She does seem pretty low stress. <laughs> but there was one thing the old woman would ask several times a day. Excuse me. But could you call Chris here for me? They're giving a person name to their cat. Later that same day. Oh, where is Chris? And again, even later. Please find Chris for me. Though normally obedient, this one request was always met with hesitation. Madam, Chris is already... The maids would start cautiously. Oh, yes. You're quite right. Oh, that's the sad. Would say, cutting them off. She's not with us anymore, is she? Mm, I'd nearly forgotten. She'd murmur with a nod. But not a few hours later, she'd ask the same questions again. She had them stop her favorite record. Oh, wherever could my darling Chris be? One rainy night. The mansion was in an uproar. Madam? <gasps> Madam! The servants dashed through the halls in a frenzy. Finally, one of the maids shouted in despair. <sighs> Why can't I find her cane? Uh-oh. Did she amble outside? Though it wasn't too cold outside, mm. the sheets of rain continued to pour relentlessly. She couldn't have gone outside. Could she? A chill passed over the gathered servants before they set out. They put on their coats and called for help outside. I tore my eyes from them and made for the rain-drenched town. Hmm. Amidst the downpour, I smelled the sweet fragrance of Lily. In the back lane of a park, far from the mansion, I made out the figure of the old woman. Again, angle of the illustration is like really down low to the ground. She was surrounded by a crowd. Here we see feet. Moved and gabbed around her. It's like, I think it is that what's happening and it's very well made about like, I feel like it's being very explicit about it, but without, you know, without just outright saying it. You know, they're, they're saying it outright without saying it in a, in a really fun Come way. Come on, lady, you'll catch your death out here. Maybe you should see the police. The old woman's shoes and designer clothes were soaked through. A man tried taking her by the hand, but the old woman refused to budge, her face adamant. Fed up with her antics, the men finally left, leaving her behind. That seems I cautiously realistic. stepped just into her field of vision. And without saying a word, rang my silver bell. It rang clear through the rain. The old woman raised her head sharply in surprise, her blurry eyes looking at me. Chris? The old lady rasped. I rang the bell again in a nod and then turned around. Chris, wait! Wait for me! Her cane clicked as she followed me. I may not be able to carry her all the way to the mansion, but it'd be enough to bring her to her servants. I stopped often to look over my shoulder to make sure I didn't lose her. And, uh, it's kind of like a, a mirror to what has been going on with, uh, with, uh, uh, what's going on basically in the game where we're tracking a cat. The sound of that beautiful bell was a beacon. At last, 
One of the servants noticed the old woman and shouted, Madam. As she ran towards her, the old woman bent down to scoop me up and held me, trembling. The servants weren't able to hide their surprise, seeing how much the late Chris had changed upon her return. Hmm. Not one of them said that I wasn't Chris. Because the old woman called me so, the maids nodded in obedience. Just glad that their beloved employer had returned home safe. I am Chris. Chris with her silver bell. I'm the tiny, adorable Chris, loved by her grandmother in this grand mansion. Huh. Okay, good. Excellent ah, timing, chicken man. It is you. The pleasure is mine. The, pre the pleasure is potentially way more mine, depending on what you got in your pockets. Okay, well, you do have club, and I'll take that, if anything. One, two, I, I got money, man. That's my three. It's just, that's by so much. I'm just keeping myself above, yeah, a hundred thousand, so that if you do sell suspicious drinks, I can afford one. Well then, this maybe, is me, Maybe I could have not. Well, you know what? Maybe I can sell stuff later if he comes back and he has like a lot of special. Oh, I didn't think. I, I was, I was requested to see if I could sell the broken object, and I just literally forgot. It just did not come to mind. So, apologies about that. You should sell swords, though. People love swords. Like, they would just... F Maybe they d he does have sword to offer, and they are indeed flying off the shelves. And that's why I can't have any, because by the time it gets to me, he just doesn't have any left. Yeah... That seems about right. Alright. I understand your game, chicken man. Uh, well, I mean... I understand your tragedy, and the fun part is that there is no good ending for you. <laughs> it's really sad when you when you really get down to it. 